Hey Soprano, say hello to my little friend. Hey, uh, what about this one? Tony, I am your father. Tony, hey, Tony, it's me, it's Trey. I was just playing around with you. Jesus Christ. Tony, you look pissed. Hey man, I'm sorry, it's just your buddy Trey. I, I was just playing around. I have some sausage with me. Uh, you like sausage, right? Or maybe I can run back and get some of that gabagool, whatever you call it. I saw some back up on the street. Uh, if you want it, you know, I'll do it for you. Oh, uh, maybe it'll help with those feigning spells. Where the fuck you been? Where was I? Uh, well, last month uh, I was in New Mexico. Then we went to Arizona. Made a short stop over in Texas. That was a lot of fun. You would have liked it. I was with my brother, Chris. It was a fun time. Great people, great food. But um, that's what I was doing. I don't see you for all this time. No word. Nothing. This is the way you come back to me? Tony, I know my performance was lacking, but I do impressions. You like impressions, right? I can do Marlon Brando. I can do Dick Vitale. Remember Dick Vitale, baby? I can do Christopher Walken. I can do Owen Wilson, even a little bit of Owen Wilson. Um, there's De Niro. Heck, I can even do Joe Pesci. Everyone likes Pesci, right? wants to renew his contract with Dick, but just call a sanitation. Well, today I'm in Elizabeth, New Jersey, and we're standing in front of Sentani's. Sentani's was the real-life inspiration for Satrielli's in the show The Sopranos. So let's go in and uh, check it out. There are more Hispanics now than whites of any European ethnicity in Elizabeth, New Jersey, which makes Sentani something of an oddity since it's one of the last Italian establishments holding out in a primarily Hispanic neighborhood. Oh, I thought it was going to be stuff that was already made. No, I'll take some stuff to take home with us. Look at this. It's going to sit in the... Uh... We'll get something that'll last. What do you call it? It's going to sit in the bar all day. Yeah. Unless you get some, like, peppers or olive oil. Yeah. I get some olive oil. Man, look at these pieces of steak. Look at these pieces of meat. They got liver scraps for dog food. Oh, 59 right. cents a pound. You can get, yeah, some, get some of that. Uh, for your deeds. Get some, what is this, pickles here? Fresh blood. So this is the inspiration behind the original Soprano Satriali? Yep, all right. So what do you got there, Chris? Jersey long hats. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta buy something. We gotta patronize, right? Sandwiches and this. So this will stay okay in the car. All right. So here we go. We're gonna do this uh, 
Mancini Long Hots. Can you guys tell me a little bit about the Sopranos being here? And they just nothing? came in and uh, they looked at the area. They said this will fit perfect. And we did a deal. That's all. Okay. Okay. So basically, this was the inspiration for was it Satriales? Is that how it worked in the first we season? First. Yeah, we were first. The first we season. We were first, and uh, I didn't really think it was going to take off because it took about two years after they filmed. Oh, wow. For it to, and that's just, it ain't going to do anything. Do you guys get tourists up here still 10 years later oh, like this? Yeah. 20 years. 20 years. It's been 20 years. Wow. 20 years. Thank you so much. That's I appreciate okay. it. Yeah. Got myself a good Our second stop was Pizza Land in North Arlington, New Jersey. It never appears in the show, nothing happens here, but a lot of people remember its prominent place in the intro. Is this where uh, Tony Soprano gets his pizza? Yeah. Oh, come on. So I'm in Pizza Land right now. We're in North Arlington, New Jersey, and uh, this is the place made famous in the intro to the Soprano series. You see it there, and uh, we're here. All right, what's up guys? We're at Satin Dolls. This was Tony's hangout and one of the biggest hangouts for his crew during the run of the Sopranos. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna check it out, but I don't know what kind of footage I'm gonna get for you guys. You'll just have to stay tuned. The action at the Bada Bing wasn't limited to the inside. Like in this memorable scene with two hitmen trying to take out one of Tony's crew, Silvio Dante. There was also the incident with Ralph killing his stripper girlfriend, Tracy, in the same parking lot. And as life so often imitates art, in May of 2021, Marco Gubarovic was beaten by five men outside the club and hit by a car where he died. Now, there's not much action in the parking lot today. Pretty quiet. But you never know. We haven't reached the door to the club yet. Of course, once inside, there was plenty of action, from Tony berating one of his bartenders for wasting ice, to Tony fending off the advances of a stripper, to Chris Molasanti almost being torn into pieces by one of Tony's henchmen, the legendary Tony Saragusa, of the Baltimore Ravens, that is, and New Jersey native. The place was never without its drama. After talking with the owner, he let me grab a couple of quick shots didn't want to interrupt his business by making anyone uncomfortable, but these days the place is in much nicer shape than it looked in The Sopranos. It was time to head to North Caldwell, New Jersey, to Tony's neighborhood, which in my opinion is much less attractive than the street where his fictitious house actually resides. By the way, unlike other owners who now own houses that were used in fictitious shows, such as the woman at the Walter White residence in Breaking Bad, the owner I met here was much more friendly and didn't prevent me from taking my videos. All right, guys, I'm here at Tony Soprano's house. I don't think Tony's home, so we're not going to bother him, but uh, yeah, pretty cool, huh? On this unassuming street in suburban New Jersey, there was a lot of mafia activity, and one in particular was extremely important to the Sopranos storyline. We're on the final leg of our journey here for our Sopranos tour, and we stopped at Holston's. This place is very important because it's in the final episode, the final scene of the final season, and it's here where Tony has a date with Destiny. Let's go in and check it out. The final scene that had people talking not only for weeks, but years later, happened through this door. Tony walks in first and is later joined by his wife Carmela and his son AJ. 
They share a few short pleasantries as they await the arrival of Tony's daughter, Meadow. Sitting on a stool is a lone hitman, obviously sent to either kill Tony or take out the whole family. It's unclear. Based on the layout of Holston's, from the angle he's turned, he would have been looking at the wrong side of the restaurant. Tony is on the left from his viewpoint, and he's looking over to the right. There were a lot of tight shots in that final scene that didn't let people appreciate the layout. But the large artwork on the back wall was not there. Neither the stuffed animals on shelves, nor the large plexiglass panes, a hangover from the pandemic. All right, guys, we're sitting in the Tony Soprano booth now. This is where it all happened. We had to wait for someone to get up so we could slide in. But now we're in, and um, yeah, so we're going to order some onion rings. Why not? Let's, let's do it like the family did it. And then uh, maybe some burgers, and uh, hopefully uh, we don't get whacked in the process. All right, Chris, we're sitting in the Tony Soprano booth. How does it make you feel? Like we're about to get whacked. That's what I was thinking, too. If you guys remember, what did Tony's family order in the last episode? Onion rings. It was onion rings. Oh, onion rings. Onion, onion rings. Oh, it's like the Olympic rings right there. <laughs> now you're eating onion rings like a real soprano. While Tony appears to have been shot during the final moment of the final scene and didn't make it through his onion rings, we, on the other hand, survived the appetizer and made it to the main meal, bacon cheeseburgers and french fries. Thanks for traveling with Trey. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you next time.